We all know and love the secret skin for this season, obviously being Aaron Yeager himself. But did you know he actually has a secret mythic ability? But first, if you don't hit the thumbs up button on this video, in exactly 103 days, when you log on to Fortnite, this will happen. No! But if you do hit the thumbs up button, in exactly 103 days when you log on to Fortnite, this will be waiting for you. The choice is all yours, so choose carefully. Last video, I asked you guys to name this emote, and there's a bunch of people on the screen right now who got it right. For this video, we have a new emote. If you know the name of this, make sure to leave it down below in the comments. But we've wasted too much time, but I have something absolutely awesome to show you guys. Let's hop into a game, and let's get into it. Now, before we hop in game and show you Aaron Yeager's secret mythic ability, first things first, with a new month coming up, Epic Games just announced the brand new Fortnite crew pack, and it's this skin right here known as Dahlia. Now, I know the crew pack isn't really that exciting, but trust me, this is very important. She's playing a big role in the Fortnite storyline. First things first, she's a part of the Unseen Genius set, while her character description reads self-made, self-perfected, and that's kind of a cool detail, because if you look at her body, it's not like an actual body, it's like a Lego character or something that she assembled herself. And Dahlia is actually an NPC here on the island and reveals something huge about to happen to Fortnite. If you want to check her out for yourself, all you need to do is head over to this little area by the snowy section of the map. And once you go up and talk to her, but you have to be wearing the high wire skin. She'll actually say, so your chaos, I prefer to move unseen. Now the unseen is actually a faction here in chapter four, season two. that consists of a bunch of different characters like the infamous Triarch Nox himself and all of the other characters we saw on the posters located around the mega city we have very good reason to believe that all the members of the unseen are actually tied to the last reality because check this out if you take the triarch nox skin and once again go and chat with dahlia she'll actually say true empires are built quietly in the shadows on top of that dahlia actually has this super cool selectable style where you're able to see something that looks very similar to the mysterious chrome substance from chapter 3 season 4 this is what a lot of people to compare dahlia to the cube queen as well as the herald but it goes even deeper than that because because Dahlia's and the Herald's music pack almost sound the exact same. Let me know down below in the comments. Do you think Dahlia is a part of the last reality? Or maybe even another version of the Herald? Now it's time to check out Aaron Yeager's secret mythic ability. Or when he was first released into the game, we only had two mythic items. One being his mythic ODM gear and the other being the Thunder Spears, which are absolutely terrible. But in the actual Attack on Titan show, Aaron Yeager himself is able to transform into a Titan. It's all triggered by his willpower and physical injury. Or basically, whenever he's injured or in a state of extreme stress or danger, can activate the power within him, causing his body to undergo a huge transformation. it will start rapidly growing in size, his skin will harden, and he'll even gain incredible strength and regenerative abilities. But transforming to a titan isn't without its risk, and it can also cause him to lose his mind, become a mindless, rampaging titan. But Aaron is able to control it very, very well, and it turns out this is because Aaron is actually the founding titan, which allows him to control the memories and actions of other titans. But for other characters in the show who aren't as special or if it is Aaron himself, they get to use this to transform into a Titan, known as the Titan Syringe, and it was actually created by Aaron Yeager's father himself, and as a part of his research into the origin of the Titans, he used it on his very own son, Aaron, to give him the ability to transform into a Titan and to pass on the founding Titan's power to him. And all of this will be incredibly relevant in a second, but for now, we're dropping into a game to finally check this thing out. The very first thing we need to do is track down his mythic ODM gear, which from what I understand is the omnidirectional mobility that was essentially created to help humans fight and defeat the giant titans. And the best place to find that mythic is right here at this little outpost located outside of shattered slabs. If I'm not mistaken, there should be one of those attack on titan chests somewhere around here. I'm actually pretty sure it's right here in this building. Oh, what the heck? There's an enemy here. Ah! Alright, but the good news is the first part of our mission has been accomplished. Uh-oh, someone's trying to ruin the party. What are you doing? First zone is already formed. And this dude just landed, bro. Here, bud, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop running around, mate. Stop it. Ah! He almost eliminated me, bro. What the heck? Whenever Aaron Yeager or anybody else actually transforms into their Titan form, there's only one way to defeat them, and that is by attacking something known as the Nape, which from what I understand is basically the back of the Titan's neck, where they are apparently the most vulnerable. And it essentially goes like this. Pretend that this giant cardboard cutout is a Titan. This is basically how you do it, right? It's just like this. 
Boom. Oh my goodness. That literally gave me a pickaxe. How sweet is that? But without a doubt, Epic Games should 100% add the Titan Syringe as an actual mythic ability here in Fortnite. No, it sounds like it would be extremely overpowered, but think about it. If they just made it function very similar to the mech or the brute robot, it could actually work out great. Think about it. If only one person could be in it at a time, there was maybe only like two of them that actually spawned in each and every single game. Wouldn't be that overpowered at all. And after all, it is kind of crazy that Epic Games did an Attack on Titan collab without ever even actually adding a Titan into the game. I think it might have something to do with the fact that the Titans do look a little bit like gory or I don't know, they do look kind of scary in my opinion. Like maybe Epic Games just thought that that wasn't all that family friendly and decided to not add it as a feature. Because after all, look at the little fake Titans that we have. They're literally just little wooden planks that don't look anything like the Titans at all. Oh dear. I see a lot going down over here, lads. You know what? I think I'm going to get involved, shall we? Come here. Ah, ah. He's so weak. at it. Yes. Let's see if we can get this dude too. You ready? Come on. Attack. Oh, no worries at all, lad. No worries at all. Oh, my goodness. Thanks for playing, buddy. Oh, I see another one all the way over there, man. This is popping. Here he is. He has no idea I'm here. Ready, mate? Boom. Yes. Look at us, boys. We are going off. Five Elims already. We are just getting started, boys. Look at this. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Boom. Yes. Oh, they found a llama, too. They found a llama. Oh, no. But there's more enemies here, man. I got to eliminate him. Ah. Come back here, mate. Yes. No. The llama's gone. R.I.P. Some lads right here. Up to no good. All right. I see you, bud. Yes. Oh, dear. Dude, there's a marshmallow and even more. Look at this. Yeah, yes. Look at the kill feed, boys. Oh, my. You know, we were going crazy finding a bunch of people just a second ago. But now let's totally change, man. We could barely find anybody right about now. Oh, I take that back, lads. I take that back with all my heart. Our prayers have been answered. Now we just got to drop in and ruin this guy's day. What do you say? Oh, no. Ah! Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I almost died again. I see one running right there, man. But I got to drink some shields. Now we can go after him. Here we go. At it. Yes! 23 more anemones remaining, lads. However, I am running out of ammo with my ODM gear, which is not good at all. But we will eliminate this guy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. He's so weak. No! Yes! <laughs> oh, ho, ho. where are you going, lad? Absolutely nowhere. That's where. Oh, my goodness. Laser. I think I just saw one somewhere down here. Oh, yep. Here he is. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. He came to play. He came to play, ladies and gentlemen. So did I, though. Boom. One more. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, he just disappeared. Where is he? He's somewhere right... Oh, got him. Oh, and there's one all the way down there. He's so tiny, bro. I actually think the storm's probably going to get him. Oh, right here, right here, right here. Right here. Oh, laser. A few more over here, bro. Let's get him. Oh, absolute beast mode, folks. Oh, dear. There, there, there. Come on. Yes. Uh oh, I'm so weak. I just lost my shield. Not good. Let's get him. Old fashioned way. Oh, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The victory royale. When and if Epic Games decides to release the Titan Syringe as a mythic inside of Fortnite, I'll make sure to let all of you guys know by making a tweet over my Twitter account, at HomeAgamesYT. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.